when the consciousness arises, why has it arisen? Because there is ignorance about its true nature. It has forgotten I am consciousness. So what has come up? I thought has come up. I thought is born. I am knowing. And then it knows the Nama Rupa, the Bhasa. Because of the perception, I know. So the I know, the I-ness is born with the witness consciousness that is born. The witness consciousness is not permanent. The witness consciousness is not pure consciousness. So you cannot stop your journey there. You have to wait to recognize that this I, the consciousness, drops and there is that field of nothingness. That is pure consciousness. If you've not done the Sargadatta Maharaj's chapter number 5, please do it from I am that. In that, the whole chapter is about the witness consciousness. He says, the witness consciousness is born along with the body. It dies along with the body. Which means it is a mental construct limited to this body-mind complex. This witness consciousness is a reflection of the pure consciousness. It just gives you that glimpse, ah, I am awareness, I am consciousness. And you hit that wall. Beyond that, you cannot know it. You cannot experience anything. You can just be. Yeah. So witness consciousness itself is I thought. Itself is the sense of I am. It forgets that it is simply pure I. It becomes I am the body. I am the mind. My world. Blah, blah. Thank you.